Welcome back, pen friends. This is Tom with Gold Spot Pens, and it is the end of March 2019, which means it's time for our regularly monthly checkup, where we take a look at the top five pens on goldspot.com during the month of March. So how was your March? This month we took a look at all the 2019 Lamy Safari and all the new All-Star Bronze and Aeon and everything like that. We uh, did an overview of that, also a review on the Aeon. Uh, we also took a look, a second look at the Estabrook SD with uh, my boy Penboy Roy and we also uh, are trying to solve the sticker famine and uh, we also took a field trip to Kenro Industries in Long Island and we showed you a, an early video of that with the Monte Grappa moon landing and we have a couple of other videos that are coming out of that recording session that we had. So let's talk about the top five pens that you guys enjoyed during the month of March of 2019. Now this is not a greatest of all time list and I've said in the previous videos that we've done for this this year. Uh, it's not a list of any editorial quality of, as far as what pens are better than others. It just happens to be the pens that you guys enjoy the most through sales, through customer feedback, um, new pens and everything kind of like all together in one. So these are the top five hottest pens that were at the store on goldspot.com during March. Number five on our list is the Pelican M205. It's a classic M205 demonstrator. It is available in a variety of different nib widths. This is actually a special edition from a few years ago that is already kind of going on to its very end. Um, Pelican kind of likes to go into these special edition runs and then kind of get out of them after a couple years or in certain cases, like some special editions don't even last around a few months. Um, but this one had lasted a couple of years. Um, they hadn't made a style like this with the silver trim and a clear, completely clear barrel, clear cap uh, demonstration in quite some time. I think it's been at least about seven years. Uh, but what we did was we happened to kind of get the allocation of the very last of it that's in the United States and we were able to kind of put it together with an awesome deal where you can get any of the nib sizes plus an italic nib for less than what the pen originally cost. And how do we do that? Uh, we work out deals because we want to pass it along to the end user and give you guys a better value. Because hey, Pelican pens are expensive. I don't have the money to buy all these pens, but if the prices go down, hey, you know, then I would be looking at a solid everyday writing Pelican reliable German made fountain pen and be able to change up your writing style at a moment's notice to go from, let's say, an extra fine to an italic, which will give you that calligraphic flair. So, I mean, and also too, these nibs are not cheap either. These are not, you know, $20 nibs. These are usually $40 or $60 nibs, depending upon where you buy them from, but they're not cheap nibs. Um, and these are also not Yovo uh, compatible either. These Pe Pelican proprietary nibs are a great uh, resource to have around when you want to swap them up. It's a great overall value and you definitely can't be getting something like this as like an everyday fountain pen. All right, so I know what you're thinking. Number four, why is he holding a ballpoint pen? And why is he holding a ballpoint pen that looks rather colorful? Um, these Karandash Claim Your Style 849 ballpoint pens, these limited edition ballpoint pens have been one of the hottest and unexpected awesome pickups that have been happening up this month. Um, limited editions don't really happen that often in the Karandash world. Uh, one I think of particularly was a couple years ago, they did a tropical 849, which had an ombre effect. It went from one color on one end of the barrel and then kind of just radiated down to the, another color at the different end of the barrel and looked really awesome. They did not last long. And when we went to go get more from Switzerland, they did not have any. So when it comes to these limited editions, um, let's say the Nespresso or like the Paul Girard, um, they tend to become kind of quite valuable or quite in high demand, uh, similarly to how the Retro 51s, a little foreshadowing to what's going to be coming up next. Um, but these uh, Karandash, these Claim Your Style pens are super chic. They have really cool, like hip color pairings to show you the cases that they come in. Um, these are all aluminum uh, based and they have like a, a powder, kind of like a matte coating. And then you have the polished uh, clips and the uh, top 
uh, clicker here, and they're all different colors, which makes them exciting, makes them different. You know, really just gives you a different look to a ballpoint pen that usually would just be like your standard black with chrome trim or, you know, silver or whatnot. So definitely for the fashion forward, for the hip, the young, the exciting. All right, so at the top of the broadcast, or this video, we mentioned about Lamy and all the new designs for 2019. Well, these are designs from 2018 that have kind of made a statement over the last couple of months. Um, this vibrant pink has been on this list for the last, I think, two, three months. And because of the fact that the vibrant pink is going out of style, but it's going out of style with style. So there, there's an awesome deal together with the bottle of ink, pack of cartridges, and a converter for way less than you would ever imagine an all-star being sold for. So I think altogether it's more than 50% off and it's been going crazy because it was awesome during Valentine's Day, has been kicking butt since then, and we still have uh, a bunch left uh, that will probably be selling out within the next month. So I wouldn't anticipate this being on next month's list. This will be the last time that this will be uh, mentioned most likely. So the, um, I mean, it's a great package set also for the uh, you know for Mother's Day or for a spring gift, spring birthday comes around. Um, you know, kids love this sort of thing because uh, it's it's bright, it's vibrant, it's enjoyable. So, um, but what also has been appealing is the uh, Safari in all black in this medium point, um, which was actually a deal that we had received back on Black Friday, kind of ironic, but um, Black Friday, this had gone for $20 and we had bought a tremendous amount of inventory um, that we are still selling off of, but it's still selling every day because this was 2018 Safari Special Edition that um, I think is starting to dwindle now to become almost extinct before the time that the new 2019 pastels come out. So um, if pastels aren't your thing and you really wanted the something that's like this all black, then this is a great opportunity because this is only $20. Does not include the converter, but hey, by that time you're saving a whole bunch of money, so might as well spring for the LZ24 slash 28 converter. So if you were to give me long odds on the fact that a double-ended fountain pen would be one of the top selling pens on goldspot.com let's say five years ago i would have definitely taken you up on that bet because i really wouldn't have imagined that uh, such an innovative pen would have been uh, such a great seller but this pen bbs 469 double-ended fountain pen it with a set that we've put together of colorverse inks has been one of the big surprises of March and it was a weekly dip special that we are just essentially just selling through the rest of our inventory on. It's an exceptional build of a fountain pen, has two beautiful fine nib, stainless steel nibs, and one has a, a kind of like a two-tone gold and silver, and then one of them is just a plain silver. But these ends, especially the grip section and the cap here, the, this these ends are just made of an exquisite swirling blue they call this galaxy blue acrylic which is like it's a commercial grade acrylic it's got some chatoyance it's got some nice uh, color variations going on through there but it looks exceptionally nice and then it looks even better when you fill it up with ink that kind of complements the colors which we did with these uh, colorverse inks so we have horizon sunspot proxima b saturn 5 and the uh, space Leica. and and these colors just go perfectly with this pen, especially with the theme of it being like a galaxy theme. So um, we do have a limited amount of these left, and as you see here too, it comes with an eyedropper and a rollerball section too, so you could switch it up and put a, a rollerball nib unit instead of the fountain pen nib unit. And as we discussed in a video where we showed you how to fill and how to swap nibs with the Pen BBS 469, you could change this up whatever way that you want to. You have a Yovo number six size italic or uh, modified nib, you could throw that in this guy and be able to do all sorts of neat things. We could have an extra fine on one side, flex nib on the other, stub on the other, or a rollerball nib. You could do a whole bunch of different things and have two different colors working at the same time. So a really cool, versatile writing instrument. And for number one, we have the Retro 51 Birds and Bees Tornado Popper Rollerball. And I know what you're saying already. 
oh my gosh, another non-fountain pen in this list. How can it be that anything besides fountain pens make this list? But hey, it's Retro 51, and these guys, these limited editions sell out like hotcakes every time that we get them. It's a spring theme, so it landed perfectly in March, and it takes on a theme also uh, from the song um, that was produced back way back when. And it also comes with a little free prize inside, as far as they say. It's a little sticker that comes inside, too. Um, this is the last piece that we actually have, which is actually going to a customer. So don't send me emails about it. Don't comment about it. This is already spoken for, and I'm not opening it. So we'll show like a little cutaway of a picture of it, you know, the pen design itself. But we also had out here, too, um, just a couple of other noteworthy things uh, going on the retro front is that we had gotten our coffee back in. And this uh, coffee exclusive tornado is not a limited edition. So when we sold out of our initial run, a lot of folks were thinking that, oh, they're not coming back anymore. So then the prices of them started to kind of creep upwards over, I think, $100 or so for a pen that initially went for under 50 bucks. So when we had gotten this new second edition, which has no no changes over the original model, uh, some people were kind of put off because they said, oh, well, all of a sudden my previous one is now a little bit undervalued. But hey, you know, it's it still is a very popular design. I mean, I love coffee. You love coffee, probably. And uh, most of America loves coffee. They run on Dunkin', as they say. So it's an evergreen sort of style that we will continue to produce as a non-limited, non-numbered edition. And uh, as long as you guys will keep buying them, we'll keep making them. We had just uh, sold out this month of the London Skyline which we had introduced late last year. Um, 650 pieces, completely gone. And uh, this is one of the prototype pieces, which like I said before, you can't get them because hey, it's on my desk, it's my piece. So, um, but yeah, but we are expecting a new edition of this collection, of the Skyline collection. We're going to a new city, um, which will be coming up in the next few months. So definitely take a look and keep an eye out for a new Skyline edition. Um, these are highly addictive, highly collectible, and I guarantee you that this next one is going to knock your socks off with how uh, beautiful the design is, how intricate that Retro 51 had planned out everything. Their designers are top notch, um, and it just uh, overall the, the feel of it, we love it, and we're excited by it. So that is your number one pen, the Retro 51 Tornado Popper Birds and Bees Rollerball. So that does our top five pens. What to look forward to in April? Well, of course, anybody who's a fan of Game of Thrones knows that the first episode of the final season is coming out on April 14th. So we're looking forward to that. I personally am looking forward to that. And Monte Grappa is also looking forward to that, being that they have the official licensing agreement with Game of Thrones uh, for all of their officially licensed Game of Thrones pens, which include the Westeros and the editions that came out for each of the four major houses. Um, so you could check those out on goldspot.com. Uh, there will be some additional promotions and things like that kind of tying into the launch of the next season. So it, definitely take a look out for that. Uh, we also have our Pens and Pints meeting at Red Tank Brewing Company in Red Bank, New Jersey. Um, that is on April 8th, that's a Monday at 6 p.m. So definitely, if you are in the area, anywhere, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, it's definitely worth to come out because we will have an amazing set of pens out for display with our folks from Kenro Industries. I, we mentioned we came to go visit earlier in the, the uh, video. Um, they'll be bringing Monte Grappa, they'll be bringing Aurora pens, they'll be bringing Estabrook, and they'll be bringing uh, Mr. Fountain Pen Day, uh, Kerry Yeager himself. So they're gonna, there's gonna be a lot of fun things to take a look at there. We're also gonna have the folks from Universal Luxury Brands, which are the official distributors of Lamy in the United States. Um, so they'll bring Lamy pens and all the new stuff that you wanna take a look at for 2019 will be in there too. So that'll definitely be, and of course you've got beer. So. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a fun occasion. It's very low key. Don't worry, no one's swinging from the chandeliers. They're gonna all hang out, nerd out about pens, and also sample some beer. And if you don't like beer, they also have like seltzer and other stuff that you could drink there too. But um, there'll be discounts for both drinks there and also for pens. It's a fun event. We did one in January. You could check that out in one of our videos in our, in our YouTube channel. Right around that time at April 14th, um, when Game of Thrones is coming out, the very next day, tax day, April 15th is also going to be when Sailor 
will be increasing their prices. And yikes, it's going to hurt because some pens are going up, let's say like 10%, whereas some of them that are a little bit more on the pricier side are going up just nominally because they're already pricey to begin with. But um, that is going to definitely uh, kind of change things around because costs have, have relatively maintained the same, I think for about eight years or so, but now they're kind of creeping up on everybody. So they needed to increase the prices. And that's something that you should really take into consideration if you've been eyeing a sailor pen and you haven't, let's say, taken a plunge on one yet, um, definitely now is the time you would be able to save some money doing that. So you could stay informed about all of the latest and greatest in fine writing by signing up to our email newsletter. Besides subscribing here, to find all the latest videos, the email newsletter is something that goes out every week and includes like a digest of all the things that you need to know that's going on in the writing world, including fountain pens, rollerballs, everything that you enjoy about all the brands that you care about. So definitely check that out in the show notes below. Also too, is if you want to RSVP for that April 8th pen meet, that will also, there will be a link that's there in the notes below as well. I appreciate you guys tuning in. Stay inky, my friends, take care.